Hey, good morning, folks. AJ here. We are back for day two. And still having a, a little bit of an issue with the um, shipping company that's supposed to be bringing the digital wall here. We got in touch with LED Nation. I'm waiting for a call from them because they're reaching out to them to be like, why'd you miss the date? But we have our plates here that we're going to put there. I have brought some extra cable so I can make, connect the ATEM and all this other stuff up here. Then also I overnighted the fiber optic HDMI cable. So I'm going to go ahead and run those from the HDMI splitter that we did and then see what else we can do. Now, I did <laughs> look back up. So we got the math on here. So they are sending 30 panels here. So if that's 30, that's 15 each, and that's three rows of five. So what I'm gonna do is look up the exact model, measure it out, and then try and put the top row um, to see if we can get the exact measurement of that and then look to secure that in there. And then it's gonna be two other rows of beams in between that so that the top and the bottom of the next row can be screwed into that board and vice versa. So that's what we're gonna try and do. But I had a little issue last night. My um, temporary <laughs> tooth cracked. So I was at the dentist this morning. So I have a hard stop here at two because my crown is actually here. So they're gonna fix my tooth today. <laughs> instead of two weeks from now. So um, let me see what we can get done today and then we'll go from there. All right, folks, I hate moments like this. So let me show you what they're doing so far. So as of right now, they are adding a switch right up under each one of the walls for a physical switch to turn the screens on and off. We're gonna switch those out with um, some smart switches, some CASA ones so they can be turned off up here. But I've cleaned my mess up and I finally just got a call and now it went from delivering this stuff yesterday to it's not going to be here till August, um, no, Tuesday of next week when I'm going to be in Chicago. So again, I hate when stuff like this, the expectation was hopefully to have um, a screen up for Sunday. That's not going to happen. And then the fact that I'm going to be in Chicago all next week, we're going to get back here and then the best that we can to try and at least get one screen up um, Thursday, depending on how much time. We may be able to put up one and then come back Friday afternoon after the Q&A and then hang the other one. Um, also, those are 75-inch screen TVs, so um, we may be able to. Let me show you. When we put the mount on. We may be able to put, bring the TV and just hang it on here, which honestly will probably be easier, but I'll need some assistance with that. We put that here. Um, and then we were, I was talking with Doug about the expectation. The main thing is to help them with their workflow once we have everything in place. So that's deciding how to use the walls, how to use the, as in what to display on the walls, what to be displayed on the um, stage display. Are we going to do dual stage display? Is one of the screens going to be kind of mimicking what's going on the LED wall? How to route and leverage more power out of the ATEM right now. Connect that over into um, ProPresenter so that if they're doing baptism at a press of a button with the video input, we can push the ATEM camera out to the screen. Um, so really helping them with that. So <laughs> kind of stinks, um, especially that we're starting to have a bunch of stuff stack stacked up because right when I get back from Chicago, I'm working on another project where I have to go back out to Chicago. But then when I get back, we're going to do this Thursday afternoon. I have choir rehearsal that evening, then live stream on Friday, come back here, try and get that other stuff done. Then we have our last day of our e-missionary conference on that Saturday. Then um, be with them, if we finish, be here with them Sunday to help with the training and the follow-up Sunday. And then we're going to do some stuff at Runnymede and then for three days <laughs> get out here if we don't have any other time left. 
then we're out in the Dominican Republic, then we're back, and then rinse and repeat. So business is good, but it I, I don't like stuff getting stacked up. I like to get stuff done, and I hate when um, I tell a client that we're going to be able to do this, and then things out of all of our control we can't change. So I mean, I can't hang a wall if it's not here. So anyway. Um, I cleaned up what I needed to for right now. I need to order two more switches and then um, might use that access point that I had left over so we can connect all of them. I think I might do that. So anyway, that's about it. So we'll see you on next week. Hey folks, AJ, the CEO here. I literally just got off the plane and we are back here at 31st Street Baptist Church. And just that quick, I forgot to bring some paperwork that I needed to bring back here. Um, I might run back there, but I am here to see measure off the screens. They were delivered on Tuesday. Um, they called me about that while I was in Chicago. We're gonna do is roll them in here and see how far we can get with, um, well, first vet and make sure everything is in its proper condition. Um, inspect all the packaging make sure nothing is missing and then work on the LED um, processors and then um, verify everything else. All right, we got the processing units. I'm gonna take these upstairs and the other, everything else is in that back room. So that'll be pretty easy because I can just roll them in and get in them up here. And we'll set these up. And I need to put a tester on there to make sure which one is which. And then those will be the cables. Then the idea is I'm gonna set all five of them. Cause again, it's gonna be three rows of five. I'm gonna set them five out, measure them off, then measure these, make any adjustments if need be. Put the five row on there, stack, put some beams, stack, and see how far we can get. All right, so we got these. When you, I put a gap in between each of these. These will slide in, give them power. And then, um, again, this isn't actually gonna be here. This is actually gonna be moved over here. So I need to, I'll come back to that because I don't need to extend these cables that are gonna go to the screens. But let me get some tools, put this up, then go to the next one, then we go from there. All right, we got both units there. And I got the first one hooked up and this is where we would have to configure it with the board and all this other stuff, but I'm not gonna do that right now. I am going to move my stuff over here, roll some of the carts out and see, get the dimensions and then work on the mounting and then go from there. All right, we got one row out, that's five panels. We're gonna go ahead and measure this and see how close or we are to up there. And then we just take, I might try and do two at a time because um, they're light when I just have the aluminum frame, put them together, screw them in, level, do the next two, then the row, and then that's it. Now where's my, yeah, my measuring tape. Man, I am happy. <laughs> Measuring this off, this is eight feet and two and a half inches wide. This is eight feet and um, two and, what is that? I mean, it's not three, it's not three fourths. I'm like, what is that? Two and, <laughs> my math is off right now. I don't know, I'm off by a quarter of an inch. Um, no, an eighth of an inch. So we're good. <laughs> so even if I, push from here over or from here over that little lip at the end that ain't even going to be seen so yay let me get my small level and we're going to start and just work our way over running the cables that daisy chain and connect these together and then i need to pull that cable down test the line which one is which and then go from there all right, folks, it is 2.30. We've been making some good time. Literally half of the screen is done. I'm sure I can, f I probably could get this entire row done. I mean, this entire screen done today. Um, what I'm gonna do now is I have one cable up and I'm trying to see if one power cable is enough and one data cable is enough 
um, to send the signal. Everything is hooked up. I just need to plug the cable in that I have a tester on up there. Um, plug it into the processor and then try and send a signal. So let's go do that. Alrighty, I got it prepped. The second card is actually gonna go to that last screen right there. I mean the other um, ethernet cable. So that'll loop all the way up there. But we got a signal. Once I put up the panels up, the other one should light up. Ah, <sighs> yay. I have a little bit that bottom row and I think that's because of the plank that I have the bolt that's pushing out so I'm gonna have to go fix that but let's make sure all the cables are connected and we get an image on the screen and let me actually take one of these with me because we need to count the pixels I believe it's 128 but let's count it real quick so yes yeah, um, 64 by 64 so that's 128 128 so we need to put that in the processor so it knows how to split the image and let's just make sure that all of the panels are being read if not that means one of the um, ethercon cables is loose all right folks so got it there but it's something going on with the second cable that was already ran so might need to do a test on that and then pop a couple of these looks like the cable is not fully plugged in or something i'm gonna try and do that real quick um but i'm kind of done for the day i'm just gonna go ahead and just push that in and see if that is the problem it's just a loose cable or something like that hopefully that's it that's all it is um because that's the start of the connection so that's probably the reason why it's not working or unless I hooked up another cable by mistake. Also, the coloring is not right. I got to dial that in. And like I said, I put bolts that I normally wouldn't use to hold them together in between each screen. And I think that kind of pushed out. That's where that's why there's this bottom crease right there. I don't know if you can see it if I get closer like a little seam going all the way across the bottom i think that's because of the bolt so worst case scenario i need to take down this bottom row take out the bolt that i have in the back and then secure it to the beam and then that will make that flush and bring that up but let me get up here and see if this cable is the problem so it looks like one ethernet cable can send the signal so i disconnected that second one and then everything is there and I don't know what is going on with that color. I'm gonna have to dial that back in. Let's go back up one more time. See if we can get a full image, the right color. And then um, we'll be back tomorrow to test and get the other one done. Alrighty. So it's something with the deck link card cause I plugged it in directly into the HDMI on the computer and then not an issue. So, Worst case scenario, I drop another graphics card in there that would give me multiple outputs, but making very good progress. Need to just adjust that line right there. And then we focus on getting the other one up. But worst case scenario, they got one. Um, and then we got to focus our attention on the TV mounts and all that other fun stuff. So yay, let me turn this stuff off and then head on home. Now, the other thing I did not mention, I mean, I mentioned in the other video, so they have regular switches here. I do have CASA switches that I will switch them out so that they can be remotely, I mean, wirelessly turned on and off instead of having to come down here. And let me get my computer. I definitely don't want to leave that here. Got my phone. Got my phones. All right, so like I said, very, very, very good progress. And we'll be back tomorrow to finish up with the other screen and get the other stuff calibrated. Hey, good morning, folks. We're back here at 31st Street. We were able to get the entire right screen done. I'm gonna focus on the attention on, um, cause it's gonna take longer. It's getting the drums out of the way, I'm going to, now that I know the dimensions, I'm going to measure off and put the top beam for the rack, um, I mean, for the other screen, secure that, 
and then measure off and put the mini braces because what i think i'm going to do this time is as long as the top and the bottom are completely anchored in um, i'm going to use the bolts to hold all of the screens together in the middle so to avoid having to put um screw that into anything so the bottom will be anchored the top will be anchored um and then they'll be linked together um and i might put them on the side now that i think about it i just want to make sure that it's anchored enough so i might just put a perimeter around so a beam on the bottom that's already there one on the top and maybe one on the sides so that it's anchored in there and then all of the rest of it is anchored inside of that the ones on the side are going to be dependent on if there's a stud there um, but we'll figure that out and then once i get that done then i'm going to go back to pull down the bottom row um, and remove those um, the bolts that i had there that is making it bow out and i will hopefully get rid of that line if not we just have to do like we did and we have to just shift all of the um the tiles up to get rid of that um which shouldn't be that big of a deal because the top is fine um it's just that bottom row so um we just have to slide that up we pick pick and choose whichever one after we do that i put the mounts for the tvs that are going on the back i'll do that i got my toggle bolts for that and then need some assistance with getting those TVs because they are much heavier, but we should be able to do it from the um, balcony and just lean over and hang it. Hopefully, if we had three people, one person on the ladder and then people at the top, um, I think we should be good. And then I think that's it. Now I had one issue with the image I showed where it's blue. That's a known issue with the um, black magics and how um, how a presenter is handling that video out because I use the same thing with my stuff so I think it's a setting um, that needs to work on what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put OBS on there just to verify that it's um, pro presenter that is changing that color science that's going out when it's sending the signal over the deck link um, also did a recent update they just dropped a new update for the deck links with a known issue they didn't say it uh, what it was but um, that's what we're gonna do so I'm just waiting for people to get here so I can get inside and get to work alrighty so we found the issue um, and it's actually not anything in our control I put OBS on here that has access to talk to the deck links and see I have no issue with the screen color so it's something that Pro Presenter is doing that adds that blue haze to it. So like if I stop this now, I can do both at the same time. So if I stop this, so no image is going there, we see it outputs nothing but black. That's how it should be by default if there's nothing here. But if I open up Pro Presenter, the instant I open this up, See, it throws a blue haze. So that's coming from ProPresenter. And there's no setting in there that changes that. So I don't know what that is. Um, so at least I know it's not the computer. It's not the cards. It's not the equipment. It's just the software is causing a problem. So for right now, I'm going to just turn this off. And then keep OBS open. So that way I can verify that the image is fine. So you see, before I turn it on, you see it's that blue haze because it's still the remnant of what's left over from ProPresenter. So if I start this, magically everything goes away. So again, it's not the deck links. We've actually already updated those to the latest version too. So that's not it either. Anyway, um, what I have in place right now is I bought the shop outlets here that give some more connections here. I need to unplug the computer and plug it into that. But for right now, I need to move all of the drum stuff. And, and we can start the work on hanging those. I might actually go to do the TV mounts. I think I might do the TV mounts first because that's kind of easy and get that out of the way. Um, 
no, I'm not gonna do that because the ladder's already up there. So I'm not gonna bring the ladder back here. So let me bring in the rest of the stuff. Um, and I do have my camera so we can do a time lapse on this and we will start the work on that second screen. Get that done today. All right, we're back. Didn't get as much done as I wanted because I left my batteries in my charger and I grabbed the wrong battery that did not have a charge. So right now I got my, all my spares. So we're gonna get back up here, put the other beam up there and then start whittling away at putting up the other screens. good progress honestly I would probably be done but where the outlet is it pushes right up against the middle piece of this wall so the big middle piece right here so it can't sit flush so I need to run out to the store and get a very short extension cable so that the cable is thinner and it's not as rough up against i mean sticks out as much and then once i put the center pieces in there all the connections are going to be fine as you can see it's getting the signal and again um, that is something with the pro presenter software that's throwing that issue um that blue haze out to the to the screens here so this is taking a little bit longer than i thought haven't got a chance to get back over here and do that, but I think they're pretty content. What I'm gonna do is if I can get back to hang the mounts, I will. If not, they said it's not that pressing. The fact I've made this much progress, they're like, if I can finish this so they can see that Sunday, that'll be fine. And I can come back and do that and then even realign that if need be. Um, I'd rather, it not have any flaws when they first see it so i may focus all of my attention on this and then come back and i have to take down the bottom and either slide it up or i think it's mainly just the bolts are pushing against that um, so I think, and it's kind of the similar over here. I think I might actually put a zip tie just to winch these um, panels together just a little bit more um, just to get that out of the way. But let me run up to the store, definitely get something to eat, and then um, come back and knock those out. And I still got to prep for the emissionary conference tomorrow. So the work never ends. Ha, <laughs> I am tired. 
Yay. We still got a little bit of dialing in to do just to get rid of those little seams. But I would hope they wouldn't fuss about that again. They want to have them up, they're up. I will see about um, what really is happening right here. It's just bowing out a little bit. If I lean against it, um, that seam goes away. So most likely this top row, I'm gonna take that away. I don't have my circular saw with me, but chop these into little blocks and then put the blocks into the wall and then screw the um, panel into that just to pull it tighter to the wall and that will get rid of the seams there and then that's probably the same thing on this side but actually no there is a board right there i think the bolts are in the way of that so let me move this i need to actually let me turn this back on because i had this configured already so i just need to turn it off and back on so that it can calibrate the colors so let's head upstairs. All right, so I think I know what the issue is. I ended up bringing my up-down cross converter. So we're connected over SDI to here and the image is perfectly fine. I think it's ProPresenter is not liking sending the signal over HDMI. So um, I'll leave that in place for right now but I'll try and get a um, SDI to HDMI converter. And then when I come back, I'll replace this. Um, instead of having this just all over here, but it was just a test. I mean, it works perfectly fine with OBS. So I know it's not the configuration. It's just how ProPresenter is handling it. I even downgraded to the oldest um, display I mean, desktop video, which is the same one that I have, because this is the same setup that I installed at um, Antioch so long ago. So I know that's not the issue. And they have ProPresenter 7 as well, too. I think I'm running SDI out, so that must be the issue. But anyway, we'll get a converter um, when I come back and do that. So I'm trying to find my stud finder so that I can go down here and hang, put the mounts up for the TVs. That way, when I come back, I don't have to do a lot and I might and I might actually avoid doing all of this in total as much as I don't want to get another graphics card um, for this system I might actually do that because we one of the SDI outs is going to be I mean let me take that back unless I get another SDI um, mini monitor then it'll be three inside the system. And I believe I have space for it. Ugh. Say if we slide this over so we can open the side up. I keep unscrewing the wrong one. That's for the power supply. So from here, we got enough space. If I get another deck link, then that third one will send the signal. One is the stage display, one is for the digital wall, the other one will be the feed that goes to the ATEM. Um, so that we have all three displays. So I think I might actually do that. Um, so that way we can send a lower third to the ATEM for that through ProPresenter. Anyway, uh, let me see if I can find my stud finder so we can actually put the mounts up for this. All right, folks, you can see I am tired, um, but we got everything up and rolling right now. Just going through a little impromptu training. Like I said, we're gonna come back and move these up. I got the mounts done 
We're gonna, when I come back and move that, first thing we're gonna do is hang the TVs for a stage display. Then we're gonna move those up. And um, I think they're excited based off of what they got. Um, we had a couple of people came in before friend Doug came in here. I'm giving him some impromptu lessons on um, running everything. They're gonna be moving everything over into this. But um, I think everybody's gonna be excited from what they saw, um, the few people that popped in and saw everything. So I think the congregation is gonna be in for a big surprise on Sunday. So. Um, I think that's about it. I'm going to go to Sheets to get something to eat. Then I'm going to pass out. No, I can't pass out. We got the conference tomorrow. So I got to finish setting that up. Then I'm going to pass out. But that's about it, folks. Um, link is down below to all the information and everything that we use. Let me know if you need any help. You can go to ajhomes.com slash consultations. Zoom, phone call, you know, on-site, all that other fun stuff to help modernize your media ministry. So if you like this type of content, appreciate a like, consider subscribing, hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. Thanks for watching, folks. This is AJ. Catch you on the next video. Later.